Hello guys and welcome to everything about winners. In this video I want to show you the most exciting or in my opinion the most uh, or the be best new features in the official Oreo firmware for my Galaxy S7 Edge. So um, currently this firmware is not official because it was not not rolled out over the air. So it is a ROM you can flash over XDA because um, if you watched my previous video accidentally in Vietnam, a Galaxy S7 Edge user got this update and then someone extracted the firmware to make possible for everyone to get hands on on the Oreo. Uh, firmware, but in this video I want to run through all the features I appreciate the most. So um, yeah, let's get started. So yeah, my first uh, feature I appreciate the most is the dual messenger and uh, what it does, it shows you available messaging apps. So we have WhatsApp, Snapchat and Skype here. And uh, basically when I select an application for let's say WhatsApp, then it will install a second WhatsApp application. So I can show you here, I have my basic WhatsApp, which I'm currently using, of course, and here I have a second WhatsApp application. So you can see that there is, um, on the bottom um, right, there is an orange, um, an orange, let's say, mark with two circles. So that's because it's an application which was enabled by the dual messenger. A feature and when we open it up you can see that it says welcome to whatsapp so here I can basically sign in with a completely new account and you will see also that on the bottom right there is also this orange mark or this orange um, half of a circle which shows us that we are currently in the dual messenger app or the uh, second application of whatsapp so that's a really nice uh, feature. Maybe some of you guys um, um, searched a long of time for a feature like this and now it's here in the Oreo firmware. So let's continue guys. So here is the second feature I like the most and it's clock and face widget. So here when we go to clock style you can find basically um, clock styles for the always on display. So we have a bunch of new here to find, to check out. And there are also some, basically some uh, cool ones. But uh, what I miss is that we don't have the option anymore to choose a background for the always on display. But maybe that will be added uh, soon. And here for the lock screen, we also got something which is really my favorite feature because now you can change this basic odd um, a clock you can change now into multiple or different um, clock styles that is really nice and you will see them every time on your lock screen so you can select for example um, this one which I currently have enabled and then the color and basically um, in the default setting it will select a color an accent color from your wallpaper and the display so maybe you see that the color here is a little bit like a red purple because of Iron Man in the background and you can basically also change the color here in um, different yeah color mixes or basic colors so you can also change the color in your own own preference so if you want to have a bright red you can enable this and you will see that the clock is in this color now and uh, also the same is here available for the always on display but there you can't choose your own color you have to select one of the preset colors then the net next thing is that we have now also the face widget um, like on um, the galaxy s8 note 8 always on display and also on the lock screen so you can see here it is the um, always on display and here you can see the lock screen in an animation and um, basically when you swipe over the clock you can go to your music controller your today's schedule and your next alarm you can also show up or select where it should show up so under the lock screen and always on display just the lock screen or just the always on display so let's get right into the next feature my next favorite feature is also under the lock screen and security section and here it is all about the notifications which are shown up on your lock screen 
and basically now you have also a lot of new anime um, settings I mean for example you can turn on completely and off uh, notifications for always on display and your lock screen so if you don't want to see um, notifications in both of these and then you can select an option which was available um, in Nougat Nougat before but uh, now it's here under this section here under the setting and it's hide content so you you um, won't see what someone um, has written you on WhatsApp for example so this is when you want to hide something from um, other eyes on your lock screen then what is new and I, I like this feature a lot is just notification icons only and this will just show up under the clock on your lock screen um, uh, bubble with um, with symbols from applications where you have an, um, where you have an, yeah, a notification so this is nice and when you tap on it on the lock screen then uh, you can go and access your notifications shade and what is also really nice and also a handy feature is that you can now select the transparency so I think in Nougat the transparency is something like this so basically just a little bit transparent but now you can select your transparent you can also make it completely transparent and then you will see that the text color will be rever uh, reversed because um, or it's of the purpose to read your notifications of course but you can here select your transparency um, by your own um, preference so this is also really nice I pre so that's a great option to have here and you can also um, select the apps where you want to have notifications from so this is nothing new but new is that you can select um, that you want just to have notifications on your lock screen on, or on your always on display or you can also select both of these options. So let's get right to the next feature. So my next favorite feature is the multitasking view and um, yeah you all know when you tap on your multitasking button it will open up a list full of notifications there. Uh, not sorry not of notifications of your opened applications and it will show up your um, applications in a window and when you have a lot of applications opened you have to scroll up uh, you have to scroll a little bit and this could be annoying um, but now you have here in this three point menu an, um, an option to select list view and this list view will make your um, multitasking apps or your apps which you have opened up in the multitasking view in a list view so yeah you see that it's more compact and you see more application at once and you can just open up these applications from this list view and I think this that's a nice um, setting because maybe um, maybe you can be more productive with a list view because you can just jump to another app much faster than before so this is nice and when you go to the thumbnail view you can go back to the classic uh, list view or uh, to the classic view um, of your opened apps in the background and the next thing is that we have also what the s8 and note 8 got before the um, the option to lock apps so i can select an app like youtube and youtube studio um, to be opened in the background so I click on done and you see now they have a lock symbol and basically what it does if I tap now on close all applications YouTube and um, YouTube studio just won't um, aren't not closing because I locked them in the background so um, if I want to have an application that um, should be opened all the time in the background I just can um, select this option and when I um, want to close other applications I can close them all but these won't close and um, when I'm swiping then they will close so just with a swipe you can just force close them so let's right jump in into the next uh, feature so here we are again and that's my last 
favorite feature which I want to present to you and this is an option in the notification setting and here you can select um, icons for your app icon badges. So um, you can see that now if you have an, um, a message or a notification and you close them by swiping down in the control center that the notification will disappear also on the or the, this, the icon badge will also disappear. And now we have also the option to change the badge style of um, to see your no missed notifications. So you can select the classic one, which is the default one, show with number. So it will just look like that. This here on the Play Store you can see it. And um, when I select show without number, it will just give you a small little dot in the right top of the icon. So it's just like stock Android and it's really minimalistic. So this is an option if you don't want exactly or you don't care how many missed, app, um, missed notifications you have. So this is nice and you can also select completely that you don't want to see any notifications on your home screen. So uh, guys, this is it. These were, were my favorite features in the Android 8 Oreo firmware on my Galaxy S7 Edge. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate that. If you have any questions, leave comments down below. And also I want to thank you for um, the support um, which you have done on my last video. I hope to see you soon. Bye.